two, one, and... Okay, today we're gonna start an experiment to learn how different liquids um, affect eggs and maybe um, affect the eggshells. So to do today's experiment, you will need... Coke and some eggs crack and vinegar and water and some small cups or bowls, and the eggs are raw that we're using today. Okay, so you guys ready to get started and see yeah. what these different liquids do to the eggs? Yeah. So we'll start with water. We'll pour water into our first um, bowl. And that's probably good. These bowls are a little small, so we'll have a little exposed, so we'll move them around over the days. The second one I'm gonna pour is vinegar. Got this giant tub of vinegar from Costco, so it's big and heavy. I'm gonna pour that. And then the third one, we're gonna add some Coke. Coke. So Adelaide's gonna pour that for us. All right, so that's good. That's enough in there. So now you can already see things happening. What do you guys observe here? But this one is bubbles. Yes. This one's fizzing. They both and they bubbles. both have formed bubbles around the egg in both the vinegar and the coke. So what do you guys predict is gonna happen? Hmm. No idea. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll find out. We'll leave this for a few days and see what the acid does to the shell, what the sugar does to the shell versus water. And then we can make some conclusions. Hey, it's been two days since we started this experiment. So let's start here with the one soaked in water. What do you guys predict happened to this one? I think it's gonna be the same. The water didn't really do anything to the egg? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So this was kind of like our control egg. We'll dry it off and we have a plate here. I just want to drop it. You yeah. see what happens? <laughs> Crack. <It broke. laughs> yep, it's just a regular egg. It's the same as it was two days ago. Okay, so we saw the water, the egg soaked in water. Nothing really happened to that egg. What about the egg soaked in soda? What do you guys think happened to that one? Let's look at it. It kind of looks, let me dry it off a little. I'm just drying it with a paper towel. It's stained. The outside of it is stained. And do you know why? No. Because the so soda. Yes. Yes, the sugar in the soda. So eggshells, like I was saying, are made of similar um, materials to our teeth. And if it stains your egg like this, what do you think drinking a lot of soda does to your teeth? It stains it. Yes, it's not good. So that's why we always brush our teeth really well. So does our special treats and we brush really well afterwards to prevent these kind of stains and problems. Let's see if anything happened to the inside of this egg. Three, two, one. It broke. Broke and it cracked and it's still like a normal egg inside. So the shell still protected the inside of the egg. So even though the shell got discolored, that was all. The liquid did not penetrate into the egg and it's a normal egg on the inside, right? Okay, so now to our final egg. And you guys have already observed something about this one floating in the water. What did you notice? There is bubbles all around it. And was it bigger than the other two eggs were? Yeah. It looked and a it lot bigger, right? White on it. It's somehow grown in size and it it and you guys you will not believe this it feels different than the other eggs it's not hard on the outside anymore look I'm wiping it the shell is just wiping off oh wow there's no more shell it is soft so here feel it it's with the blanks is the shell gone is that crazy is it yeah. should we see if it bounces yeah <laughs> Just like, yep, now you both try. What, there's no shell anymore. It's just a bouncy egg, isn't that crazy? Yeah. But it's, and it's swollen, so it's a lot bigger than the other eggs were. And there's no shell, but it doesn't break. And this is not a hard boiled egg. It was just a raw egg. And that's because the vinegar reacted with the shell. And that's why you saw those bubbles. It was a chemical reaction taking place and it dissolved the shell. 
And then, because there was just the thin membrane, the vinegar got inside the egg, and that's why it swole up. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. Okay, so we decided to go ahead and wash this off in the sink with water. So you can just wash your egg off, and the shell will just wash right off. Now it's nice and clean, and you can't believe it, huh? What do you think it looks like? Kind of like a bouncy ball, huh? It's, it, does it feel kind of like a bouncy ball? How would you yeah. describe how it feels? Squishy. Rubbery, yeah, squishy. Bouncy. Okay, you want to try bouncing it? Yeah. Can we bounce it from up high? Yeah, see what happens. Go a little higher with your bounce. Like this side? Yeah, sure. <gasps> oh! oh. <laughs> so, it's not completely a bouncy ball. It still has a raw egg on the inside. It was just that outer shell. So, there's... You can see there's vinegar. You can see the extra liquid on the plate compared to the other eggs. So we have the yolk and the white outer part, but then there's a lot more extra liquid and that's the vinegar. And this is that thin membrane, like when you hard boil an egg that you see. And that was all we were left with instead of a shell. Okay, so we finished the experiment. It was pretty exciting, right guys? What did you say to me? Was this? this this it was like the funnest and best video we ever done. Your most fun experiment we've ever tried? Yeah. <laughs> this one, so which egg was your favorite? We tried water, vinegar, and soda. Definitely vinegar. Yes, because look, nothing happened with the one soaked in water. Because water doesn't do anything to eggshells or to our teeth or bodies. Now, um, the soda one, what happened? It's Thing. Yeah, but it it's stained. still was the same as the water one. Yes, yeah, so it didn't affect the inside of the egg, but it stained the outside, right? Mm -hmm. And then what happened with our vinegar egg? It was it, all bouncy. And then the outside disappeared. And then what was the most crazy part? It exploded. When you dropped it, it exploded all over mommy. <laughs> I got covered in the egg and vinegar, but it was pretty cool anyway, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So would you recommend your friends try this experiment? Yeah. Yeah, we highly recommend it.